opening prayer for Friday the 30th of December. And today our Gospel reading takes us interestingly to John crying in the wilderness to prepare, calling out in the wilderness for people to be prepared to receive this Jesus who moves on from being the delicious little baby in a manger to being the challenging adult Messiah. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts and your praises ever be on our lips. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O oh, come, let us worship. Psalm 111. Oh, I've forgotten to do the bit about the night has passed, so shall I pray that first? The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 111 His holy wounds are always healing ours. I will give thanks to him with my whole heart when I'm alone in all those secret hours of intimate encounter set apart. And also in the congregation where our voices join and heart speaks unto heart. And I will marvel at his works and stare delighted at a dewdrop or the beauty in tiny grains of sand. For everywhere I see his laws at work, his verity and judgment underlie each separate thing that he has made, in each the mystery from which all things arise still seems to sing. I hear it and begin with holy fear and awe to trace his word in everything. And from John's Gospel, following on from yesterday's amazing poetry about the word becoming flesh. And here is John giving his evidence. And this is the witness of John when the Judeans from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and he did not deny and he confessed I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he replied, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So that we may give a response to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am a voice of one crying in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. And they had been sent from the Pharisees. And they asked him and said to him, So why are you baptising, if you're not the Messiah and not Elijah and not the prophet? John responded to them saying, I baptise with water. In the middle of you stands 
someone whom you do not know, the one coming behind me. And I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. These things happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptising. Extraordinary, creative, imaginative, life-giving God who wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share our human nature so we may be partakers of his divine glory who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as we move on from the little baby, the stories of the beginning of the life of Jesus. We travel into the wilderness, as it were, into the desert spaces, away from the busyness, the status quo, things that have power over us. And we go with John to trust his preparation of us to clear a space, a real space, deep within us, to prepare for this birth, this maturity of a birth within us. The Christ who comes to transform our human nature into his glorious nature. So I'm going to read by way of a prayer a blessing, a poem called Prepare, <coughs> taken from Prepare the Way of the Lord, Make His Paths Straight, which Luke also comments on. So here we are with John as we face the new year the day after tomorrow, can we make a space today for something radically different to happen deep within us? And then the lives we live, the choices we make. Prepare. Strange how one word will so hollow you out but this word has been in the wilderness for months, years. This word is what remained after everything else was worn away by sand and stone. It is what withstood the glaring of sun by day, the weeping loneliness of the moon at night. Now it comes to you, racing out of the wild, eyes blazing and waving its arms, its voice ragged with desert, but piercing and loud as it speaks itself again and again. Prepare, prepare. It may feel like the word is levelling you, emptying you, as it asks you to give up what you have known. It is impolite and hardly tame, but when it falls upon your lips you will wonder at the sweetness, like honey, that finds its way into the hunger you had not known was there. And so at this in-between time, between Christmas and the New Year, we offer all that we know of ourselves to all that we know of God. Prepared to be transformed so that we may walk into the New Year with others in the transformation of the world around us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the grace of Christ our Saviour be with us all. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>